wish you could get a sense of what the mountains look like in the background. They look like uh, somebody draped a big burlap sheet over huge formations. They're just massive. I don't think you can get a sense of it in the camera, but they're huge. driving at this speed is uh, you got to be really alert at all times. Always watching your mirrors, always watching well ahead of what's in front of you. Watching for cops. Bring it down a bit here. There's some people up here. More cows. <laughs> Lots of skinny cow. That cow is malnourished for sure. I uh, forgot to mention, when I was at uh, Pemex this morning, filling up in the dark hours of the morning, um, there was a, a couple of guys sort of walking and standing around and uh, I could hear them talking and one of the guys sort of looked towards me and said something like, Americano, very stern looks on their faces, sort of staring at me. And uh, the other guy looked at me and then he looked to the, I was standing behind my car, then he looked down at my Canadian flight and he says, no, no, Canadian, or whatever he said, Canadian. And then uh, they both started laughing and smiling. So I don't know if that was a good thing, if that saved me from something, I don't know. But uh, there was a lot more levity about being Canadian than being American, for what it's worth. So maybe that Canadian flag wasn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> yeah, I know that wasn't funny. If you'll recall, I had mentioned that the uh, police put cardboard cutouts of their cars at the side of the road. Well, I stopped to take a picture. This is what they look like. And this is what the front of my car looks like right now. And for my American friends south of the border, just want you to know that I don't echo that sentiment. I got nothing but love for you guys. <laughs>